Coming up on Evening Edition, a new Carbondale program to combat drinking and driving. Plus, the coronavirus continues to spread across the globe. And the U.S. prepares for peace talks to end conflict in the Middle East. Live from Southern Illinois University, you're watching River Region Evening Edition. SIU's Associate Provost for Enrollment Management, Jennifer DeHamers, is leaving. Good evening, I'm Jordan Smearman. And I'm Jacob Gordon. DeHamers will become Central Michigan University's first Vice President of Student Recruitment and Retention. DeHamers says the new position is a promotion and offers a broader set of responsibilities to those that she had at the University of Missouri, Kansas City, where she worked from 1997 to 2017. SIU will launch a national search for her replacement, but a timeline has not been set on the search and no decision has been made on interim leadership. Kentucky police are looking for an inmate who escaped last night in Paducah. McCracken County police say Daniel Bell escaped in a stolen vehicle from Brooks Stadium at around 645 last night. He's believed to have taken a maroon 2000 Chevy 2500 Silverado extended cab. Bell is described as a white male with light brown hair. At this time, police are unsure of which direction he traveled, but if you have any information on his whereabouts or believe you have seen him, you are asked to contact police. And an arrest warrant has been obtained for Jordan Kelderman as a result of the investigation into a shooting incident which occurred last weekend. Carbondale police officers responded to the 1000th block of East Park Street to shots fired and a reported gunshot victim on February 15th. The 24 year old is charged with aggravated battery with a firearm and aggravated discharge of a firearm. He is considered armed and dangerous. Anyone with information of his whereabouts is asked to call the Carbondale Police Department. State regulators are warning consumers about a telephone scam in which the caller claims to be from the Illinois Board of Dentistry. Officials say the scammer spoofs the phone number to look like it's from a state agency. They warn against giving any personal information over the phone as the Board of Dentistry will never call anyone with demands for money or information. And the rising levels of the Ohio River is forcing Harris, or excuse me, Harris Metropolis Casino and Hotel to temporarily close its doors. The business closed its doors yesterday at 9 o'clock, but it plans to reopen tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Employers will continue to monitor the river levels and forecast. Well, Jacob, you know, with the rising river flood and stuff like that, especially with the rain that we saw today, hopefully that will not impact the river anytime. I hope so. Hopefully the rain does not continue the rest of the mm -hmm. evening. Maggie Latham is here now with the first look at weather. Maggie, we expect to see the rain in anytime soon. Well, Jacob and Jordan, unfortunately, we are going to be seeing that rain just a little bit more. Tonight, we are going to be experiencing a little bit more of that rain, and we are going to be seeing degrees in the 40s, and it's going to be cloudy tomorrow morning. Uh, looking ahead at my five-day forecast, we can see that the Ohio River flood is in a flood warning, and we have possible rain on the way, but I'll let you know about that in my five-day forecast. All right, Maggie, thanks. Driving under the influence of alcohol is illegal and it's also dangerous for yourself and the people around you. But Evening Edition's Madeline Parker talked to a local business to see how the Carbondale community is trying to prevent drinking while driving. One person every 50 minutes dies from a drunk driving related incident. However, the Carbondale community thinks they may have a solution that could be as easy as ordering a soda. It's called the Saluki Designated Driver Program. The Designated Driver Program is a promotional campaign to help discourage drinking and driving throughout Carbondale. It means that if you go to one of the bars that are involved in the program, you can get free non-alcoholic drinks that night. And the process is shockingly easy. And so the idea is that um, so a student could go to, or really anybody, it's not, it's not limited to students, so anybody could go to any of the participating establishments and say, hey, I'm a designated driver, and then the, the business that's participating would offer them a a free non-alcoholic beverage. You tell us that you're going to be the DD tonight and you won't be drinking, then yeah, ab absolutely, it'll be on the house for sure. Every day, 29 people die from a drunk driving related incident. And Alex Grabowska says there is a reason why alcohol is so dangerous for the body. Um, the body, it lowers people's ability to, uh, with regard to decision making, with regard to motor control, it serves as a depressant. And so it, it impacts somebody's ability to drive safely and effectively. Most people believe that they can still drive even after having only a little bit to drink. But Grabowska is ready to debunk that myth. Any amount of alcohol consumed 
will have an effect on the body because alcohol serves as a depressant. And even bartenders can agree that drinking while driving is dangerous and there needs to be precautions in place. While driving is one of the worst things ever, not just for you, but for everybody else, everybody else on the road, people that aren't even specifically maybe driving, but are, you know, on sidewalks. God, it's, it's, it's good for everyone to make sure that you have a designated driver um, and know how you're going to be getting home that night. And if you can't get a designated driver, there are other options besides drinking and driving. I mean, Uber is a wonderful resource in that regard. Uh, taxis can be a resource in that regard. For Evening Edition, I'm Madeline Parker. If you do find yourself unable to drive home, the Saluki Express makes frequent stops around Carbondale and it is free with a student ID. The Big Money Film Festival begins tonight here at SIU. The festival marks its 42nd year and it's the oldest independently student-run film festival in the U.S. The fel fe festival screens both short and feature-linked films. Three jurors have been brought to SIU to critique films and hold workshops. We spoke with Dorothy Evans, the co-president of the Big Money Film Crew, about the festival. Big Money Film Festival is a completely student-run film festival with the help of faculty as well. Um, and we get submissions from all over the world, from independent filmmakers, and we all watch the films, which are pre-screened, and then um, we select a handful of films. Over a dozen screenings will be held in Carbondale until Sunday. For a full list of the events, you can head to the Big Money Film Festival's Facebook page. Volunteers fed hundreds of people yesterday afternoon as part of a fundraiser and with one goal in mind, to raise awareness on the battle with hunger. Heaven's Kitchen is a community mission led by the Fowler Bonin Foundation aimed at helping those in need by serving food. The organization serves free meals every Tuesday at the First Presbyterian Church with more than 10,000 diners going through their doors since they began. The Fowler Bonin Foundation also opened a Heaven's Kitchen location in Marion this past August. And ahead here on Evening Edition, the verdict for the Harvey Weinstein trial is finally given. Plus, thousands come together for the memorial of one of the greats. You're watching Evening Edition at 5.